Michael Kent Jr. has on Thunderstruck in the Might and Power on Saturday. And Michael, we heard Mick say earlier in the week that the plan was to settle a little more forward. He's come up with barrier one. How does that affect the plans? Yeah, I think it's a good barrier for him. Uh, better than outside draw where we have to come back. Barrier one, uh, hopefully give him a little dig out of the gates. And over 2,000 metres, hopefully we think we might end up in the box seat. Um, I'd expect Alligator Blood to be leading Zaki outside. And I'd imagine J-Mac will be trying to stay off the fence on Animo. So hopefully there's a spot there for us uh, to be up on the inside. And um, got to find a bit of luck at the right time. But uh, yeah, I think, I think the barrier, barrier one is okay. We've also got a medal in, in the Guineas. Uh, it was a massive run in pretty trying conditions last time out. It was a big run. Um, Ollie couldn't see and no one could in that race. Uh, they worked home in 28, <laughs> which is uh, quite remarkable. Um, it might have been a blessing in disguise the horse got so far back and worked home because I think there's a nice sense of timing with this horse. He's going to the mile third up. We're putting blinkers on. Uh, he's worked in blinkers here. We don't think he'd be too keen. He's a very laid back customer. Uh, the draw's a bit tricky, so we're going to be spotting them a big start. If we are in touch on the corner, he'll run very well. The horse is going super, and uh, yeah, just needs things to work out for us. If they go slow and it's a sprint home, it'll be difficult. Um, but yeah, the horse is going great. You've also got two runners in the Group 3 for the Phillies. Uh, Wee Nessie was a really good run at Mornington last time out. Yeah, she was dominant there. Uh, she sat deep and was the best horse. I see the form's already worked out well, with the third horse winning very well yesterday at sale. So, uh, she's going great. Um, she's still a bit immature, that filly, but uh, from a good draw, uh, we've got the best jockey in the land on board, James McDonald. Uh, just needs to get a soft run because it's her first go at 1200. Not sure she'll be super strong late, um, but we hope she is. Her work's been great. Uh, she's in great form. Uh, she's there to run well, um, but yeah, typically strong Phillies race, this one. We've also got Hellhound, uh, it was really good at Flemington. She was very good. Uh, she was off the bottle early, uh, but strong late, beating 1.6 in a very strong cap on team. So a month between runs, uh, we've got her nice and fit. Uh, she's drawn a good gate where she'll be swooping late, and I think the 1200 suits. So hard to split out two, but I think if you're having you know tries and first fours, put them both in, they're both going great. Best of the day at Caulfield? Best of the day, Ooh, ha, tough day. Um, I reckon Thunder's got a really good chance. We, we think his best trip's probably a mile. There's no doubt about that. We're hoping he gets 2,000, but against this company, it'll be a very good test for him. I think he'll run very well, uh, and amenable at those odds, I think he's worth a bet. He's, he's going super. If the track's playing to suit in the day, uh, he can rock it home.